Hello and welcome once again to C3 here on Brain Pulp TV. You know, I'm getting a little sick of doing these all by myself, so I asked my friend Alan to phone in and help out. Al? I don't know what to say, really. Well, maybe just start by introducing our first card. Say hello to my little friend! That's right, say hello to our little friend, the Guldoo Lurker. Or to his lesser extent, the Triton Shorestalker. Who does have superior flavor text, but we're not worrying about that. The Guldoo Lurker is a nice little 1-1 creature for 1 blue mana that has the Mega Morph ability, but is also unblockable. Now unblockable is nice, because basically getting blocked is for suckers, but you're not going to really win the game only doing one damage at a time, so we need to find a way to kind of buff this guy up a bit. Now one of the best ways to buff a creature up right now is with the bolster mechanic in green. Now there are two spells that are very specific to bolstering that I'm going to focus on today, and that is Dromoka's Gift and Cash Defenses. Now initially I thought Dromoka's Gift was just the worst version of Cash Defenses, and then I realized that this one is an instant and that one's a sorcery. And it's a huge difference. In fact, in order to fully emphasize the difference, I'm going to ask Alan to explain it. That's going to make the fucking difference between winning and losing! Between living and dying! Oh, he's pretty fired up, but you get what he's saying. Now if you don't mind going into modern, Increased Savagery is actually the superior card to both of these in my opinion. That flashback ability can really end the game right there. And again, if you're in Modern, there's another card that will pair very nicely with this card, and that is the Ordeal of Nylia. Nyla. Ah, whatever, this card. Basically, it's going to give you a plus one, plus one counter on the creature every time you attack, and after you get three counters on it or more, you can sacrifice the enchantment to put two basic lands tapped on the battlefield. So let's go over a pretty nice opening hand here. You can get your turn one Guldu Lurker, and then turn two, put your Ordeal of Nylia on it, and attack for two. Turn 3, you can either attack initially and you get a second counter on it, and then put your cash defenses down, or you can do it first, you won't get that extra counter, but you'll have more damage go through that turn. Either way, by the end of the turn, you'll get to sacrifice the enchantment, you'll have 5 lands, granted tap, but still 5 lands at the end of turn 3, and either a 5-5 five five or a 6-6 six six unblockable creature. Now a lot of the cards we've mentioned so far have been instant and sorcery ones, so your graveyard's going to be getting pretty full. So you may want to have a few to come immense on to help punch through some more damage or protect your lurker if someone tries burning him out. Hey, did anybody else notice that come immense is a giant snake monster? Uh, is it just me? And finally, since you're playing blue-green, you may want to play a little Cura's Follower. His untap ability will not only help you ramp up to some bigger spells, but it'll also help you to untap your lurker so you can use him as both an attacker and a blocker. Oh, and Al wanted me to mention that if you're playing blue-green and you have the money or the cards, you may want to play a little Cure herself. Why was that again, Al? Because she got a great ass, and you got your head all the way up it! Oh, well, thanks for the mental picture. Anyway, that's this week's crazy card combo. If you can think of a better way you like to pump your salamander, make sure to leave it in the comments. Otherwise, thanks again for watching, we'll see you next time, buddy.